everyone, Kelly here. I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to put on your Jamberry sample. I have a number of tools here and we'll go through them as we need them. The first thing that you want to do is prepare your nails for your sample. So you want to cut or file the tip of your nail to the length that you'd like and to the shape that you'd like. You want to push back your cuticles around the nail so that when you put your wrap on, it's not going to touch the cuticle at all um, and keep it from sticking properly. The next thing that you want to do is grab a Jamberry wipe, or if you don't have one yet, you can also um, use an alcohol wipe or um, some alcohol and a cotton swab. So you just want to go ahead and clean off all of your nails so that you don't have any oils or anything on there. Um, and then of course, give it a few seconds to let that dry. Now sometimes um, when I've sent out samples, people have a hard time deciding which nail they fit on. If you're not sure, so the typical trick is to fit it over your nail and try and find the correct size. But if you're not sure, if you're having a hard time telling between two different sizes, what you can do is take a piece of tape, just a nice piece of scotch tape, and place that over the nail and stick it down so it's nice and flat and then take a marker, I find that's easier than using a pen, and mark where your nail is. So just trace along the outer edge of your nail. My Sharpie's drawing out a little. And then you can see it gives you an outline. When you take this off, you still see that, that outline there, and that will help you know so you can take your sample and put that behind and that will help you decide what size fits. So you can see for me that one should fit quite well. Okay, so now that I just did that, I'm just going to um, clean my nail off again just in case. In case I touched the nail and put some oils on there. So what you can do, what I typically do is I will cut the piece off that I know I want for that finger because I find it easier for me to do. What some people prefer to do is just to peel the edge of their um, sample right from the sheet so that they can keep the extra. So I'm just going to lift that like that. You want to make sure that you don't touch it with your skin at all and then you can cut it. If you know that your nails are not that long you can cut it beforehand. I just cut it usually with the backing right on because I find that's easier for me to handle. I'm just going to turn it this way so that I can have a little bit of a curve. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm not touching it. There we go. Okay, and then you'll have this left over. So if you do cut for your other nail, then you'll have a little piece left in the middle on the backing, and you can use that for an accent nail later on. So typically what I would suggest is if you have a Jamberry heater, you can heat it with that. The nice thing about these is they're nice and quiet. And it's got this nice little stand, so you can place that down and heat your wrap quite easily. But I know some of you don't have that, so I'm just going to do a little demonstration using a hair dryer. Just so that until you get your heater, you'll have seen a, a demo of that. it's pretty loud and then you're going to take your wrap and place it over your finger. I'm just going to do it this way so I can see what I'm doing and then you want to press down through the middle and then on the sides so that's flat and then you can go ahead and heat it again a little bit. hair dryer so it wasn't heating up right away so then you want to take you can either use your finger or if you have a purple pusher you can push down around the outer edge of your wrap I'll put that up closer so you can see push that around the outer edge now you can see on my nail there's a tiny little sliver of nail that's exposed but when I show you this way 
You can't really see that, can you? So you want to leave a tiny little bit of space on the side just so that it's not touching against your skin or along the cuticle. But then when you show your nails, you can't see that. It looks great and that way it's not going to lift your wrap off your finger. And then the last thing that you're going to do is file. So you want to put a little bit of an angle on it and just file it down like that all around the sides. I find sometimes I need to um, just hit on an angle like that on the corners. You don't want to be too aggressive because you don't want to rip the, the wrap off. And then you should see it, it'll start to kind of peel away. I just need a little bit more there. Get a little more on the corner. And then so there it came right off. Oh, there it is. But sometimes it'll just be on the edge and then you just peel it away. Got. And voila, there you have it. Okay, if you ever have any questions, my uh, email address our website is at the bottom there, so you can always contact me through there. It'll link you to my email. I hope you enjoy your samples and let me know how they go. I'd love to see the pictures. Take care.